Oh, you know, you know what? In the taste of fifty-five room, like years this, of like marriage, gets you the could young be in people. trouble. I mean, we sell wine because of this. We'll argue sometimes <laughs> in the taste room together, and, and then we turn around, and we give each other a little kiss, and the, the young people just think that's all. I mean, they just think that's so sweet, and they buy wine. <laughs> It's Wine Wednesday and today we've got Alex and Joanne Salaby here. Um, they are going to be visiting with us about some of our Wenatchee Valley wines. I'll let you go ahead and, and take over the conversation here. Uh oh. You don't know what you've just given up, right? <laughs> Once you give me a start, I don't stop. Might <laughs> just be Joanne no. forever, but I love seeing the snowgrass uh, label right here mm -hmm. in downtown Wenatchee. It's not an easy trip up to Antioch. We go by it often, mm -hmm. but we don't make that left and go down. We haven't done that yet, and we have to. But look, yes, I just tasted that Mervetra. I can come and, now yes. and taste Alan uh, Moan's wine right here in the tasting room, and I love the ability to be able to do that. Yeah. Thank you for the Mervedra, um, Alan. Well, what I like is to be able to come here in town and see an assortment of wines mm -hmm. from places because uh, we really don't go around to wineries every day drinking and drinking and drinking. I know it seems like that sometimes, especially if you see some of our posts, but we don't. So it's fun to come in here, see what new things are, are being shown that we might have missed. Mm. Ah, that is a lovely bottle of wine. Is that one open? No, uh, no it's don't not. open it. No, <laughs> no, but I because if you did, I wouldn't leave. I promise. <laughs> no, but, but but I have to mention a newly discovered, really good wine that I like, and it just happens that they live very close to us on our driveway, and that's Eagle Creek's. Um, I got that one right here. Yeah. Oh yes. Lavarco. It's a Tuscan, super Tuscan blend, and if it were open, I could drink it. Um, <laughs> it's it's really really good. Uh, we had an Italian dinner with it one night, and uh, I tried to take this away today, but she wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. It's just amazing, though, at the, the different winemakers. And, uh, you know, sometimes people say, well, what's your favorite wine, or what's your favorite winery around here? Well, it's kind of like saying, what's your favorite kid? You know, you can't say that. Oh, wow, because yeah. I, I, can't, I can't pick. We know most of the winemakers, some of them very well, and they're all friendly. We love them to death. We enjoy talking yep. to them, being there with them. And uh, so you can't really choose. Uh, each person has to find one that maybe suits their personality. Mm -hmm. But, but, we, uh, but we, we, also, like we also agree, I think, Joanne, this is rarely done that we agree, but we agree that there, there are no bad wines now in our area. Not, not one bad winery. Mm -hmm. That's Leavenworth, that's um, Okanagan County, that's uh, the Upper Chelan and, and that whole area in Manson, that includes Quincy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, just, it's a wonderful piece of news and it wasn't that way when it first started. Mm -hmm. um, nice to see everyone has improved the way they had beautiful wines mm -hmm. all over the place. So. What works me though is that so many people who have wine columns, they're wine uh, writers and such, um, tend to skip over North Central Washington. Well, Walla Walla is the place you want to go for wine because, you know, Walla Walla. But up here we have wines every bit as good or better than many of them down there.